In a press address attended by commissioners of the Judicial Service Commission, JSC Chair and Chief Justice Martha Kome expressed commitment in dealing with corruption in the judiciary. I want to deal firmly with those who want to go and hide behind the independence of the judiciary so that they can sabotage the development of Kenya. We want to assure Kenyans that Judicial Service Commission has continued to deal firmly with all the allegations of corruption and misconduct presented to the Commission. Kome said that the independence of the judiciary is more important now, adding that continuous attacks put the country on the precipice of a constitutional crisis. Kome has also called for fair treatment of judges following recent attacks, adding that the concerned judges are entitled to due process. To remove a judge from office, the provisions are specified in the Constitution and they are inability to perform the functions of the office arising from mental or physical incapacity and breach of the code of conduct prescribed for judges of the superior courts by an act of parliament. Another ground for removal is bankruptcy, incompetence, or gross misconduct or misbehavior. Koma's remarks come just a day after Nairobi lawyer Ivan Sondieki faulted Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa's threats about a High Court judge Esther Maina. Gashagwa declared that he would file a petition seeking the removal of Justice Maina from office after she declared part of his wealth as proceeds of crime in 2022, a move he says was meant to taint his image. Who your judge through corruption? declared my hard and worth wealth proceeds of crime without giving me an opportunity to be hard. It is very unfair for a state officer to just shout names of people on TV, not knowing that these are people with families, these are people with responsibilities, these are people with careers. So I wish to appeal to the CJ to be very firm on these log state officers and particularly to be very firm with Gachawa. Kashagwa also dared Chief Justice Martha Kome to reveal the number of petitions filed against judicial officers. That the commission received 72 petitions or complaints against judges. 13 of those complaints were dismissed by the commission because they were touching on the merits of decisions we should be redressed by way of an appeal. This commission is not an appeal court. It cannot go into the merit of the decision to find out whether the judge was wrong or right in arriving at a certain decision. Six judges were asked to respond to the petitions, out of which four petitions were admitted for hearing and the hearing is going on. 49 of these petitions are undergoing preliminary evaluation by the commission because the exercise involves the commission calling for the files, calling for the parties to hear from them before making a decision one way or the other. Comer's statement comes in the wake of heated friction between the judiciary and the executive, where President Ruto has continued to slam the judiciary for ruling against his administration's projects. Michelle Ngele Odiambo, K24.